right, friends, I've got another from Risk Mafia. This is my fourth one. Now, remember, these are fairly inexpensive watches. I think I pay about $35 for each one. So we'll see. Huh. All right. It's a little bit nicer than the other ones I've gotten, in my opinion. So... Okay, we'll see what we can see. All right, guys, so this is the Bellani Expedition. Now, as you know, this comes from Wrist Mafia, like I mentioned before, and I really wanna make sure that you guys take into context what to expect from, from watches that you get from Wrist Mafia. So, you know, it's it's not for me to decide what somebody considers really value. I just give my opinion. Um, I paid, you know, I think the normal price, I think I paid a little less because I got a super discount, but uh, the normal price, obviously, for the Wrist Mafia subscription is about 30, with shipping, right, is about 32, 33, $34. And I'll, I'll put it up here. I gotta look it up again. Uh, because these don't come in uh, that often so I'll have to look it up but these are the kinds of watches you can expect this one is actually one of the nicer ones I've gotten a couple others that I really didn't feel like I had got my money's worth this one I actually think I I think I got my money's worth with this one this one is is decent I won't say it's it's uh, necessarily worth uh, much more than I paid the MSRP for this is $155. Now, uh, I think that is a bit much right there. It's a little exaggerative. I do like the aesthetics of the watch. This is fake. There's nothing bolted here. It's really just painted, uh, painted black or anodized black, I suppose, if you will. This uh, watch is actually a, um, it's just a standard steel watch and it's stamped. Uh, and chrome plated. It's triple, triple layer chrome plated, so it's at least somewhat decent. Um, one of the things I'll get right into, actually, which is at least a positive of this watch that most of the other watches uh, have not had so far, is that this watch actually has a water resistance, and I'll put the chart up there. This watch is 30 meters water resistant, um, you can see that it even mentions it on the bottom and the back. Uh, so now 30 meters is, gosh, I would really consider that more of a splash resistance. Uh, this is something that you could you could wear in sort of a deluge or a, uh, a big rainstorm. Maybe if you got thrown into the pool, you could get out and you'd be okay. Uh, I really wouldn't wear it uh, in the shower if you were so inclined. Um, you definitely can't go swimming, right? But you could do the dishes with it. Um, I think, honestly, you really need at least a, a, a basic watch. A, a basic good quality watch needs to be at least 50 meters water resistance. Um, this watch is 30, which is almost kind of... It's almost sort of an afterthought where they figured, hey, you know, let's see if we could actually get it. And so they did. So it's not bad. I mean, for, for, for what you're paying, it's it's not it's not bad at all. Now, I, I say that with some some hesitation because there are other watches that are out there that are decent price. But this is a brand new, you're you're not really getting a discount. This this is basically a brand new watch. Um, well it is a brand new watch, but there are some others that you could get online that really have some of the same features that might be a little bit nicer for kind of the same price or just a little bit more so it's up to you but i do like this design i think they could have done better just by not even putting the stuff in there because this painted and and then the the painted or anodized crown it really kind of detracts a little bit from from the look i, I think it it kind of gives it away that it's cheaper than it really is uh, I think they did a nice job with the face, and I'll put a, a nice blow in of the picture, a, a blow up of the picture right there, of the face, just so you can see a close up. I think the face is nice. Uh, there is loom on the um, minute and second hand, but we'll get into that later. Uh, I'm not really, um, 
gosh, you know, I really do kind of wish it just didn't have this. Uh, I think they could have just not painted it and kept the design. Maybe put something like how they have this where it just sticks out and it would have been a little bit nicer. Uh, it is a nice tank watch. Uh, I think it, uh, you know, I'm going to put it on. I think it'll, I think it sits nice on the wrist. Is a good size. It looks good. Um, so I, overall, I'm happy. I actually think this is probably one of the better ones. Um, there was one other one that I got. I think it was the one that was last month that was actually kind of decent too for the price. The first two, really, I was very unimpressed with. Um, actually, kind of angry with the, uh, with them. But this one's actually somewhat nice. It's a nice look. Now, uh, the the strap is a neoprene. Um, strap it's it's sort of a polymer it's actually quite good uh, and but the buckle is cheap again this is with all of them I could take this off right now you know and just pull hard and that would come off so that's that's one thing that I'm not thrilled about but other than that it's 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 not it's not bad now I don't know what kind of movements in here I'm gonna open it up and I'll, I'll put a, a picture of it up here I would be happy if it was a Seiko PC32A, which is just your standard run-of-a-mill three-hand. I have a feeling it's probably not. It's probably a Chinese movement, like a San, uh, a, um, um, uh, what, what is it? Um, I can't remember. Whatever. But I'll, I'll put it up there. I'll look it up. So, all right, let's do some measurements. It's a tank watch, so obviously the measurements are going to be a little bit smaller width-wise. It's a 40.5 uh, lug width. It, it's a good standard size. It's a 24. Nice, nice and big. So it's actually not too bad. Uh, depth, I'm going to say about 13. No, not even right. 11.5 lug to lug. I do it from, uh, from spring bar to spring bar. 44. So not bad. Um, good size. Kind of like it. Let's take a quick look at the loom. Um, I will post a picture if this does not come up. I can't really see it. I mean, there's not much to it, right? It's just the hands. So, but I'll put a picture up there so you can see it. So, all right. Uh, this is my fourth Wrist Mafia watch. I have two more for my six month subscription, and I will review those uh, just the same. And then I will do a separate video of my overall review of the watch service for six months. Uh, I think so far my opinion will probably be similar to, um, what's it, dad bod? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> uh, one of my viewers, I, I, and, and I'm subscribed to his channel as well. Fantastic channel. Um, I'll put the name up there if I can remember. I, I don't, don't want to mess up his channel name. Uh, but you should subscribe to his too if you haven't already. It's a great channel. But uh, all right, if you liked this review, um, not necessarily the watch, then give it a thumbs up and please leave your comments about this watch or anything else that you want to talk about at the bottom. Interested to hear of any other watch subscriptions that you guys are part of. And uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much.